Thousands of opposition supporters rallied outside Georgia's parliament for a second straight Monday to denounce the October 26 election as illegitimate after the ruling party was declared the winner amid allegations of vote rigging helped by Russia. The protesters, who waved Georgian and European Union flags, demanded a new parliamentary elections under international supervision and an investigation of the alleged ballot irregularities. Opposition leaders vowed to boycott sessions of parliament and hold regular protests until their demands are met. The protest took place under the watch of riot police, reflecting the simmering political tensions in the South Caucasus country of 3.7 million that lies between Russia and Turkey. The Central Election Commission said the ruling Georgian Dream Party won about 54% of the vote. Its leaders have rejected the opposition's claims of vote fraud. Announce itself as a legitimate representative of the Georgian people because they stole that they have stolen an election. It's a special operation backed by the Russians when Georgian people will be stolen, and we will never accept that. We have two, let's say, directions. One, one is the street protest. We are starting from Tbilisi, but we will have the protests all around the country. Second is the legal framework. We are collecting evidences. We already sent to international uh, observers that uh, the, the, the facts that uh, election were massively rigged, and that is why we have all rights to demand a new election. So CEC should cancel these elections. And the third layer is uh, we are asking our friends, uh, our friendly countries, democratic states, not to recognize elections which were rigged from Georgian people. As a Georgian citizen, I'm angry that we are not on the European Union path at all for now. So uh, these elections was frauded. We have all the evidences and uh, we need to push our government in order to make sure that the elections should be in a fair and a free uh, terms to be conducted. So for sure, we are here, the people, angry people, I'm sure the people will come here and more and more day by day. This is a long lasting process. It's not last for a few days. It will last a few weeks, few months. And I urge our opposition as well to be more proactive and also as well as the people here in Georgia. Moldova's pro-Western president Maya Sandu has won a second term in a pivotal presidential runoff against a Russia-friendly opponent, in a race that was overshadowed by claims of Russian interference, voter fraud, and intimidation in the European Union candidate country. With nearly 99% of votes counted in the second round of the presidential election held Sunday, Sandu had 55% of the vote, according to the Central Electoral Commission, or CEC, compared to 45% for Alexander Stoyanoglu, a former prosecutor general who was backed by the pro-Russia party of socialists. The result will be a major relief for the pro-Western government, which strongly backed Sandu's candidacy, and her push for closer Western ties on Moldova's path toward the EU. Today, dear Moldovans, you have given a lesson in democracy, worthy of being written in history books. Today, you have saved Moldova, Sandu said after claiming victory after midnight. She went on to claim that her country's vote had faced an unprecedented attack through alleged schemes including dirty money, vote buying, 
and electoral interference by hostile forces from outside the country and criminal groups. When polls closed locally at 9 p.m., turnout stood at more than 1.68 million people, about 54% of eligible voters, according to the CEC. Moldova's large diaspora, which cast ballots in record numbers of more than 325,000 voted, heavily in favor of Sandu in the runoff. In the first round held October 20, Sandu obtained 42% of the ballot but failed to win an outright majority over the second place Stoyanoglu. The presidential role carries significant powers in areas such as foreign policy and national security and has a four-year term. European Union Commission President Ursula von der Leyen congratulated Sandu on her victory, by writing on X, it takes a rare kind of strength to overcome the challenges you faced in this election. Azi, dragi moldoveni, ați oferit o lecție de democrație demnă de a fi scrisă în manualele de istorie. Azi voi ați salvat Moldova. În alegerea noastră pentru un viitor demn nu a pierdut nimeni. Libertatea, adevărul și dreptatea au învins. Moldova a reușit să își arate voința și puterea prin votul fiecăruia dintre noi. Am dovedit că uniți reușim să învingem pe cei care voiau să ne îngenuncheze. Ești noastră ne mai dat. Moldova a fost sub un atac fără precedent pentru istoria întregii Europe. Bani murdari, cumpărare ilegală de voturi, implicarea în procesele electorale a unor forțe ostile din afara țării și a unor grupări criminale, minciuni, inducerea urii și a fricii în societatea noastră. Poporul nostru s-a unit, iar libertatea și cetățenii au câștigat.